Hello everyone. Today's video, actually this is the second video that I filmed today, so I don't know if I should say today's video, but this video is on the book California Dreamin' by Saffron Kent. California Dreamin' is kind of a coming together, checking in, few different people we hear from book, really interesting. So if you are familiar with Saffron's books, California Dreamin' has characters from two other, that's four, two other books of hers, Medicine Man and Dreams of 18. Dreams of 18 has Willow and Graham's story, and then Medicine Man, which is a couple of years older, um, it's been out for a couple of years now, I should say, has Willow and Simon's story. And both of those take, mm, how it's so intertwined. I, I, I wanna make sure I ex explain it correctly. Willow and Violet are friends that meet at a psychiatric hospital. Simon is Willow's doctor at the hospital and Violet is a girl she, Willow meets and they become friends. So California Dreamin' takes place in the future. So. I would highly suggest that you read Medicine Man and you read Dreams of 18 before you venture over to California Dreamin' because you get the full story of all of these characters, these wonderful characters that you'll see in this book. The book is mainly about Fallon and Dean. Fallon is Simon and Willow's daughter. She's 18 when the book starts. She is a freshman in college. She has moved from New York to California to go to college. And Dean is a very good family friend of their, theirs who basically grew up with Fallon and her brother, Brendan, who I think we're gonna get a little bit more about Brendan too in another book. And I wondered too about Dean. He's, like I said, 32. He lives in California. He moved there um, a couple years ago. We know in the beginning of the book that T Fallon and Dean are connected, that they have always, Dean has always felt very protective of her, adored her. She was three years old when she met Dean, when he came into their family life, and She's always had a crush on him. She looks up to him. She loves him. That's her person. I wondered, and if I could get back on my Kindle, I would have before I sat, sat down for the video, but I couldn't get back there. But if I remember correctly, in Medicine Man, there's a little boy that Simon meets at a cemetery. And I so I think the way the story goes, it jogged that memory of that book. And I think that little boy is Dean. So then when I figured that out, and I, and I hope I'm right, and if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. But when I figured that out, it just put another layer to their story and the connections that Saffron is making in this book. It's an age gap love story, obviously. She left New York to go to college in California because Dean was there. She needs to come home for Christmas and she gets Dean to agree to take a road trip and they're gonna drive from California to New York. Okay, I, I've never done that. Road trips are not my favorite, but five days in a car with somebody that I love? Absolutely, I was down for it. Something that I noticed about Fallon, which I didn't get this feeling with Willow or with Violet was that Fallon to me seemed a bit more immature than Willow, her mom, and Violet, her mom's best friend. They were very much like old souls to me. They are interesting characters. They're interesting women, young women. They are a bit quirky and funny and different, which I love that about Saffron's characters. They're very real, they are vulnerable. Often they have a little bit of 
trouble in their lives, whether it be that they don't feel like they fit in with other people their age. Like I said, they met at a um, psychiatric hospital, so they have some challenges as far as that goes. And Fallon had some of those characteristics as well, but she seemed a bit more like a young girl differently than her mom was at that age. And I picked up on that. It didn't make her any less endearing to me. It didn't really affect how I felt about her and Dean's story. It's still, even though it was an age gap, it was also about, you know, these multi-layered family instances where no matter what, the guy that comes that has your daughter's heart, the dad's not gonna like, right? Simon was not happy. But yet, Simon understood Dean in a way that I recognized because I knew Simon and Willow's story. I think this video is gonna sound really confusing if you haven't read the books. So I loved that we got a chapter from Willow's perspective. I love going back and being able to see characters that I connected with at a different time in life. To me, this was a great little book to read because I got to check in with Willow and with Violet. I love that we got a chapter from Violet and we got to see a little bit more about her and Graham. And you know, you go right back to those stories in your head and the characters are so familiar to you. Simon and Willow have another child, Brendan, obviously Fallon's brother. And then Graham and Violet have a daughter, Rosie. I think it's interesting where Saffron might be going there. So all in all, I really liked this book. I liked being able to check in with them. I liked getting a little bit from their kids, which was really cool. And I wonder, because in the back of the book, at the end of the book, I should say, there's a diagram that Saffron put, and it's the Heartstone Connections. And it's kind of like a little bit of a family tree and who's connected to who. And I loved that because there was a little bit more that I didn't realize. So I think we're gonna get more in this story. At least that's what I hope. I would definitely recommend you reading this book if you have read the other two books. You could read those two books one after another, being Medicine Man and Dreams of 18, and then read California Dreamin'. Ugh, that would be such a fun thing to do, so put that on your list. Let me know if you have read either one of those books or this book, or Saffron's other books. Thanks for stopping by today, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.